Good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Thank you guys very much for being here today. We are going to level up our paladin. We are level 59. Uh, and yeah, we're about ready to head into the Dragon Isles. How are you? But I kind of ran out of quests in the zone that I was in. So I've taken us uh, to Lock Modan. I could probably queue up for a dungeon and maybe just, uh, yeah, like... Maybe we could just do a time walking dungeon. Maybe that would ding us. I bet that it would. Be good. Keep your feet on the ground. In the meantime, uh, while we wait for that, we can do a couple of quests. Lucas, Buffalo Bill, Marcus, good morning, guys. Thanks for being here. Rosalinda, good morning to you. Welcome to the stream. I'm going to grab all these quests and we're going to get into a dungeon and I'm probably not going to complete any of them and then I'm going to have to drop them all for my quest log. I know that's what's going to happen. Uh, let's see, it says seven minutes though. So maybe it could be a little bit of time. How are you? Nenya, good afternoon, welcome. Barrickson76, good afternoon, buddy. Uh, I should grab the flight point, I guess. I mean, like, old world flight points are not really super necessary. Because you can just mount up and fly so fast, like, anytime after level 30. Next mage video tomorrow. I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna put out two tomorrow. Because I'm, I'm probably not gonna stream tomorrow. So there'll be time for me to drop two of them. seems a little bit loud. Let me knock that down a little bit for you guys. I need a transmog mount so bad. I need to be able to fix my transmog like whenever I want. Now, now, somebody told me the other day they were gonna send me a bunch of gold and I didn't ask for a bunch of gold and I don't even really, I hope they didn't send it. But I am gonna check. I am gonna check in today at some point to see if uh, I was sent a bunch of gold that I never asked for. Because if that's the case, then I'm gonna buy the transmog mount. In that way, I will be able to look... Uh, I, I just want to be able to get rid of the helmet, mainly. Like, it, mainly, I just don't like wearing helmets. I would be willing to buy the mount just if it let me only get rid of helmets. Because most of them just don't look good to me. So yeah, after a couple runs here, I'm going to pop out of my mage. 
and see if for some reason someone sent me a bunch of gold. It's 90k for the for the mount with the with the transmog guy. I heard it was 120. Like I somehow I could have swore I, I heard it was 150, and somebody told me it was 120. I like that every time I hear about the price, though the price goes down. It's better than the price going up every time I hear about it. I also I also don't know where the vendor is. Like I have no idea where to acquire mounts in retail. The only mounts I get are the ones that like you either train or they're just like given to you. You maybe you get them off a boss or whatever. I've never gone to a vendor and bought a mount that wasn't like my starting mounts. It's 120. Okay. But yeah, and then I I'll have to look up where to find this thing. I I don't even know like what expansion it's from. Like when it was added. Obviously sometime after Cataclysm. Oh, with rep, it's 90. Yeah, well, depending on... No, there's basically no way that I'll have rep. D I mean, it, I guess it depends on what expansion it's from, but probably not. Like, if it's from Pandaria, like, I'm not gonna have any rep with those factions. It is pandas, okay. Yeah, yeah. The, I don't. I don't think I've done anything for the pandas. You know what? I uh, I did some questing on my druid. I have a 90, 47 night elf druid, and I, I did like I did forty seven levels of questing in the panda zones on that character. I don't know if any of the zones that I did would pertain to the rep for the mount. It's in Kunlai Summit. Oh God! And then I'm gonna I'm gonna have to figure out how I get there. Yeah, that, that's going to be a trip. Like, I can find it on a map, but I don't know, I don't know how I would get myself to it. Maybe there's a portal in Stormwind. I could teleport my mage to Stormwind, and then I could see if maybe there's a portal in the mage tower? Like, w would that be where a portal would be? I can fly on my flying mount, really? Like across the ocean to the to the Isle of Mist. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, maybe we'll just do that. Uh, we got Court of Stars. Oh man, I kind of remember the Legion Five Men's a little bit. This is really is this Suramar? It's really pretty. No, yeah, I thought like fatigue. No fatigue. Oh God, I have to. There we go. I have to get on a boat. Let me into the boat! <laughs> I'm gonna fail at the boat boss. I always fail at boats. Oh, there we go, we got it. I say a, a boat single-handedly ended my Valheim run, so... Of course I would fail at the boat. Your arrival is fortuitous. There is fatigue, okay. If there's fatigue, then I don't know if we can fly. Our spies report that Elisand herself will attend. This presents a rare opportunity to catch her away from her source of power. We'll take a side entrance to the grounds. Too many eyes are watching the front. This is your best chance to eliminate the Grand Magistrates. Good luck. There is a portal in Stormwind. That's awesome. Thank you. It seems the Dusk Watcher charged with keeping order during the party. Might I suggest the hidden approach? Along the way, you'll want to disable their arcane beacons and keep the sentries from raising the alarm.
Is uh, is what an add-on? I'm not sure what we're talking about, Lucas. Uh, the add-ons that I'm running right now are details. Details and then immersion for quests. And I think details and immersion are the only add-ons. Yeah, 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 the DPS thing. Yeah, that's details. Mm -hmm. Yeah, details and immersion are the only add-ons I have going. We got some boots. This place looks amazing. I, I kind of wish I could just like take a stroll through here. Check things out. Oh man. Watch out up here. I've heard tell of a demonic council that draws strength from one another. This bond must be broken. Explore the area and find a way to separate the council members. Divided, they cannot stand against you. Yeah, I guess I could wait for the tank. That'd be an okay idea. Very clever of you to challenge all of us. It will amuse me to watch you melt. Scorched, scorched bones. So delightful. I think I think maybe we overpulled. It seems like it seems like maybe we overpulled it. John, good afternoon, man. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. We made a, a, a fatal mistake here.
come for you. What are you waiting for? Check out that noise. I don't think this dude realized that he aggroed stuff back here. Or he just didn't really care. Either way, it's fine. John, that's okay, man. I, I wouldn't worry about it. I appreciate the thought. Who needs henchmen? I'll burn you myself. Yeah, I'm, I'm on storm rage. Somebody, somebody said mail was cross realm, but I, I don't know. I think mail is cross realm. Maybe if you're sending to your own characters. I, I don't know if mail is cross realm if you're trying to send mail to somebody else. Maybe that's the. Maybe that's what's going on. Uh oh, apparently I didn't. I gotta get a disguise. Okay. There we go. We're good now. Well, the giant sword on our back isn't suspicious at all. It's fine. Everybody here has giant swords, obviously. This is such a cool five man. Were, were Legion five mans the best five mans? Is that what's going on? Now granted I have no idea where to go, but this place looks amazing. The sound design is really good. The voice acting and roleplay here aren't like super annoying the way they kind of are in Mr. Pandaria dungeons. Am I excited for the new expansion? Yeah, I'm always excited for a new expansion. Absolutely. I don't have a lot of thoughts yet, because I, I haven't really looked into it at all. I haven't I haven't perused any of the data or information. I'm, I'm kind of like saving it till I get into the beta. Once I once I play the beta, I'll, I'll, have, uh, I'll have thoughts. Right now I'm just excited. Uh, upstairs, there's lots of people to talk to. I don't know if I have to be clicking these guys. Or, or if we have to click all of them. Or if the strategy is to fan out and talk to people. I'm not sure. I'm assuming somebody else in the group will figure it out before me. Here we go, we got somebody talking down here. We have a skull marked, suspicious noble. Yeah, he, he's sprinting in slow motion, that's very sus. Nobody runs like that. Unless they're up to something. We're like, don't mind us, we're just jogging with you. It's no big deal.
at least he was polite enough to like run outside, leave the party, go to the balcony, and then become a bloodthirsty demon. Very considerate of him. Uh oh, the door is locked. How many highborn does it take to open a door? Did someone get the key off it? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, or, or the person that has the key is not trying to click the door. I will ask... Key? Question mark? Oh, maybe maybe we're waiting for roleplay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, maybe we were just waiting. Impossible. My guards would never permit such an intrusion. Yet another failure, Melandris. Consider this your chance to correct it. Dispose of these outsiders. I must return to the Nighthold. Finally, I'll make this quick. Please, for the Grand Magistrix! If you blink, you bleed. You can't counter what you can't. I hope you enjoyed your time living in the past, but we need you back in the present. The present needs us. Uh, that's level 60, so that's awesome. Uh, we got a helmet. chance at the Grand Magistrix tonight. But her time will come. Sooner or later, we'll find another way to settle the score. Well, that was fun. Oh, uh, we got a, a... That's just... That's great. That's that's what we got. Uh, talent points. Like, I'm going to have to look up a build here, like, eventually. Inevitably, I'm going to have to look up a build. For now, we'll just go here. Yeah, okay. Uh, so that's level 60. I guess the best thing to do now would just be to throw myself on a flight back to Stormwind. And in the meantime, like, I don't see why we can't just keep queuing up for time walking. Because ti time walking is probably going to be, like, a pretty big supplement to us uh, hitting max level. And it seems like the Legion dungeons are actually really cool. And I, I vaguely remember them, but like that one, like... That one looked amazing. Suramar's the best. And yeah, I'd like to fix my transmog. Not that it's gonna last super long. How are you? But I'm gonna I'm gonna fix it. Uh Stormwind. You know, I wonder if it would have been we just talked about this, but I wonder if it would have been faster for me to fly myself. Would it have been faster for me just to fly there myself? As opposed to taking a flight point? Or is the flight point still comparatively pretty quick? I feel like we fly at like eight hundred percent speed now. Which sounds pretty fast. There should have been something to return me to Stormwind. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, like offering me like a teleport or something. I didn't I didn't see anything like that pop up. But then again, it could have been because I was uh I was in a dungeon at the time. I don't know. Yeah, I think I remember once just kind of being like teleported back 
uh, to Stormwind like almost automatically. I think there was a time when it did it automatically and then they stopped that. That might have been back in Shadowlands when like you hit max level or like level prior to Shadowlands and it would just like literally a bar would start casting and it would teleport you out of wherever you were at. The scroll. Scroll. Aha! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. New adventure awaits. Yeah, that would have been that would have been fine. I wonder if I can I'll click this button, request next stop. Uh, this doesn't always work. So we'll see. If it stops, I will I will teleport the rest of the way. If not, then like we're we're getting pretty close anyway. Yeah, like it's probably not gonna stop again. If it stops again, it's gonna stop in like Goldshire, you know. Maybe maybe I just let it run its course. I wonder if I can like hang on to this and use it at any point in time as like a free teleport to Stormwind. Looking for like a dollar on Hearthstone. Hex, yeah, I didn't know they put these here. Thank you. I often I often wondered what had happened to this. Many a time I have wondered like what happened to my dollar on Hearthstone. Uh maybe I can just yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you. It's a toy, like who who would have thought it'd be a toy? But yeah, what else would it be? Do I have a guild cloak for Teleport the Storm? I don't, I don't, not only do I not have a guild cloak, I don't even have a guild. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a guild. <laughs> Shadow Parker, good afternoon, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Heroes of the Alliance, the Dragon Isles have awakened and beckon the dragon Yeah, 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 Raytheon, I've heard it all before. If I use that to turn in that quest, I get gear. Oh. Oh, but you know what? I think they took it away from me. <laughs> it was- the scroll was right here. I landed in Stormwind and it was gone. They are like, yeah, good luck with that. Okay, I only got like 17 quest pop-ups. So that's okay. Uh, call for allies, I don't need. Dragon Isles awaits, we'll take that one. The Whispering Crystal, um, I don't know what that is, but okay, let's take it. A new adventure awaits. Okay, cool. Oh god. I, I need I need bags. We gotta get bags. Like right away. First stop bags and then we'll we'll figure out other stuff. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I know how to get into the auction house in retail. Of course I know how to get into the auction house in retail. Why wouldn't I know how to get into the auction house? Obviously. They obviously moved the entrance. It's fine. I don't think I've ever been in here. Uh, yes. Bags. Containers. Bag. Okay, uh, yeah. Here we go. This- this seems okay. Wilder cloth bag. Let's do- let's do- let's- let's do 35 gold each. And then, like, I also need... What what professions would I do on this guy? Maybe I would make him an herbalist alchemist. Maybe I want to try alchemy. Yeah, I, I think I'll try alchemy. I don't, I don't want to do blacksmithing or any, like, big, like, armor-making thing, so... Uh, herb pouch? Damn. Okay, I was hoping we could get, like, um... A reagent bag. Don't I don't I get like a reagent bag? Yeah, here we go. Reagent bags. Let's let's do that. Hey, yeah, here we go. Perfect. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm gonna do herbalism alchemy for this character for Dragonflight. And we'll think about that more in a couple minutes.
And then if I if I do herbalism, that gives me something to do while I'm if I'm like flying around doing world quest, I can be uh, I can be working on my herbalism. Oh, that's right. That's right. Picking herbs gives XP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. I didn't even really think about that. Yeah, maybe I don't know any Legion dungeons. This one, this one doesn't seem familiar at all. Like, where is this? Black Rook Hold. The name sounds familiar, but... I, I don't think I did these a lot, because cause Legion was like Mythic Plus, and like I did not like Mythic Plus, and so I did not do Mythic Plus, and so I think the number of dungeons I did in Legion was very limited. Even though I raided in Legion, I didn't do Mythics. I was not part of my guild's Mythic team, because I didn't like the time trial aspect of it. And I was working a lot at the time, and I just didn't have the extra time like on, on off nights to get on and do Mythic Plus. So I kind of got left behind. This began like this began the World of Warcraft where I did where I never ran five man content like Legion and beyond. I basically stopped doing five man stuff. And that's something that I'm hoping to fix. I I am I'm looking forward to eventually doing some mythics for the first time in my life. Right now is about deciding if that's going to happen on the mage, or if it's going to happen on the paladin. Have I tried the dungeons with the, uh, with the AI-controlled characters? I have not tried it yet. Nope. I have not. Oh my god, the music is so good. Invaders have reached the passage to the crypts. Ilisana, you must hold them here.
bury you here, fools. You cannot escape! The hunt is eternal. I don't think I've ever spent any time walking badges in my life. I, I wouldn't even know where to go to find the time walking badge vendor. It depends on the time walking expansion. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Monica, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. You can run dungeons with NPCs now? Yes. Uh, the Dragonflight ones. Yeah, you can do companion dungeons. And you can either tell them to follow you, or you can follow them. Yeah, just no, it's like a equivalent to normal difficulty and equivalent to normal dungeon loot. Mm -hmm.
for Talos. They come for you. They do. Together, we shall defeat them, Tosius. shall never have our world! I shall cleave you in twain! Enough! I tire of this! Ravencrest! You worthless husk! Ten thousand years have not been kind. Now you... No. No! This is not my ancestors. Ilisana. No. Forgive me. Heroes, you must defeat him. You expect these worthless mortals to defy the Legion? Souls of my ancestors, to me, aid our champions! I have to say the button pressing on this class feels really good. And we're not doing bad for damage either. We're doing pretty decent. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm really digging it. Happy to be here on the Paladin today. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to decline. I'm going to queue up again, but I'm going to I'm going to leave the group. And we need to at least like get ourselves into the Dragon Isles. Uh, that way I can grab herbalism and alchemy. And all that good stuff. Um, I'm not sure, like, I could have swore I bought a bunch of bags. But I only got the reagent pouch? Maybe, maybe I was clicking wrong. Because, yeah, that's weird. Hmm. Let's, let's try that again. Okay. Buy out. Okay. I, I heard it take our money. They sold as I clicked. Oh. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Yeah, I was I was wondering if maybe something like that had happened. Okay, good. So I did I didn't get double charged. The auction house is not secretly stealing my gold. That's that's reassuring at least. Alright, that's much better. Let's go ahead and we can basically sell everything, I think. I'm pretty sure we have all of our upgrades equipped. I swapped from Prot to Spec, yeah, yeah, a while back. Uh, like, gameplay-wise, like, a while back. Yeah, I realized, like, I'm, I liked Prot. Prot was fun. But I, I'm never gonna tank. I'm never gonna tank in retail. So I wanted to start learning the spec that I'm actually going to play.
All right. Uh, next order of business, we have to go after some transmog. We, ha we have to change our transmog. Uh, so at least get rid of the helmet. Oh, here we go. That that's convenient enough. Uh, let's go with... Uh, we have the Stormwind sets. Let, let's go with, like, a, a Vengeance look. The, the sword is actually pretty good. I don't know what I want to do with the sword. That seems, a, that seems cool, but a little bit overdone. Like, that's, like, a little bit too much. Eh. No, maybe not something so iconic. Maybe something a bit more plain. That's... that's almost okay. Hmm... there we go. That's plain enough. Alright, so... and do I really want the helmet though? I don't know if I really want the helmet. I'd like to just like see my character. There we go. Okay. Uh, the cloak also, I'm not sure, like, if I'd rather just see the back of my armor. Okay, that's what we're doing. Uh, besides that... Urgent matter, call for ur urgent matter. It's the human heritage armor, yep. Um, hmm, I don't I don't know. I guess I could have just like flown around. I probably just want to fly. I wonder if I could mount up here. I can, I can mount up here. That was very thoughtful of them. Oh, this, this is the human heritage armor quest, but we, we already did it. Yeah, we, we already did it. I wonder why- I wish it would know that I already did it and it just wouldn't offer it to my other characters. Let's abandon all of our quests that we don't need and just get that cleaned up. Okay. Dustin, good afternoon, buddy. Welcome to the stream. And thanks for being here. Uh, I'm surprised there's not a skip for all this, honestly. It's never gonna stop giving me call for allies. <laughs> I don't want the call for allies quest. Please stop giving it to me. I have unspent dragon riding glyphs. Okay, of course I do. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Gathering herbs or minerals increases your vigor recharge rate by 400% for three seconds. So that's really cool. Yeah, we're, we're definitely taking that. Okay. All right, uh, that should be good.
what's my current level? We are level 60. Yeah, we're level 60. Almost level 61. Stormwind music is, like, still way too loud. So, note to self, never hit the 2 button. I go really fast, but it burns all my vigor. I'm going to move that. We're going to move that. There we go. And then I need a I need a dismount. Yeah, I need I need this in a couple of different places. It has to be on R here, and then it has to be on R when I'm in my other bar. Let's go here. I don't even know if that's the one I want. What do I want? Uh, I guess I don't really have any really cool ones. Uh, let's go with I guess gold is okay. Yeah, I don't have a lot of cool mounts. Let's just stick with that. Uh, that way... I can do this. This can go here. That way I can toggle in and out. I think it's once you hit 60. You can use the mounts like when you hit level 30, but they don't have dynamic flight. Dynamic flight becomes your default flight mode, I believe, once you hit level 60 in the old world. Oh, uh, okay. We are... What are we doing here? I wish it would stop tracking call for allies. I, I hope this is the right boat. I, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure that it is. <laughs> I always, I typically will always get on the wrong boat. So like, if this is the wrong boat, like, don't be shocked. Okay. Oh no. Yeah. We don't want to be flying. Oh God. Oh no. We've made a terrible mistake. Okay. We're going to be fine. <laughs> we're going to be fine. We're fine. You want to see the amalgam of rage? The, uh, th is that the Diablo mount? I don't typically go around on like crazy ass mounts. Like to me, this is this is cool looking and everything, but it's also like very immersion breaking. Oh, I didn't realize he had dynamic flight as well. I just went to call Tiras, guys. Yeah, that's for Colt Dix. The eight second delay just didn't didn't get me there. <laughs> I knew it was the wrong boat. I really wish they would stop doing that. Why can't we have a dock for each boat? Why can't we just have a dock for every boat? Every boat gets a dock, every dock gets a boat, and then we just don't have any confusion. I do this every time I try to get on a boat, I get on the wrong boat first. It's, yeah, this happens every time. Tell me there's like a, just a teleport back to Stormwind. Are you kidding me with this? So do I have to ride the boat back to Stormwind? Is that what's happening? I don't know where the teleport room is here. I, 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 don't, do, I don't do a lot of stuff in Borealis. I, I know that somewhere there might be like a teleport room, but I'm not going to be able to find it. 
I'm just gonna have to ride the boat back. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Sorry guys, I told you I was getting on the wrong boat. There's probably something very distinctive about the Dragonflight boat that if I was paying attention, I would know. Like, this is obviously the uh, sigil of, of Kul Tiras. Like, that should have been my first tip-off. And now I'm sure the boat will sit here and probably never leave. We just, we, oh god, I, you know, I can't really take this, because like... Oh, where's my Hearthstone set? Kurt Haven. I don't know. I don't know where Kurt Haven is. I don't know. I don't really know where Kurt Kurt Haven is. Kurt Haven could be could be somewhere. Twilight Highlands, somewhere like that. I was by the portal room. I'm never gonna find the portal room. Even when I was, even when I would quest and battle for Azeroth content, like I could never find the portal room. I, I don't know why. It's for the same reason that I got on the wrong boat. Like, just inability to navigate and acute stupidity. I, I won't be able to find it. Oh no, no, I don't want upgrades yet. <laughs> You're giving me the worst upgrade. It's gonna totally bust my transmog. Oh, my poor transmog. You didn't last long. <laughs> it's so hard, like, you really, it's hard to get into transmog when you don't have the mount. I'm gonna have to, like, put all my money together on all my characters and, and see what I have. I have to be getting pretty close to 120. If I had Bagnon, Bagnon could probably tell me across all my characters. But yeah, this has to this has to be a goal that I have. I have to get this freaking mount. I have to put every penny I have towards it. Cause I, I just I just want to look cool for once in my life. And I finally have some cool looking transmog, I just can't use it because it, it gets replaced too quickly. Time walking dungeons are the best way to level up fast. Yes, I absolutely agree with you. Yep, we're we're gonna be we're gonna be spamming the dungeons. Uh, in between dungeons, we'll try to work on herbalism. I have to get to the land here, right? Uh, that seemed okay. Yeah, we're gonna be spamming dungeons and doing herb collecting. That's that's kind of the plan. 
Kind of, I, I learned that on my on my mage after doing so much like questing on the mage. I started doing the time walking, the Pandarian time walking that was going on then, and it, it became pretty clear that you know time walking is the way to go from sixty to seventy when you have the option to. I guess time walking is not something that's always going on. I don't I don't really understand exactly how time walking works. I guess, but um, from what I understood then, it wasn't always an option. It's like a time event thing. Or is that not so? Do you always have some version of time walking to do? Time walking is a certain time of month. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was, I was kind of led to believe that it wasn't always an option. But that it, when it is an option, it's what you want to do. It, it seems like if that's the case, then like the best time to take a character from 60 to 70 is when you have the option to time walk. It's also fun. Like I, I like seeing these dungeons. Now, the Pandaria ones were not as good, obviously, as the Legion ones. These ones are really awesome. Mike, good afternoon, man. Welcome to the stream, and thanks for being here for it. I found that the Mista Pandaria dungeons, they had a lot of role play in them. Like, there was always dialogue and scenes playing out, and... I don't know. Besides that, they were okay. It also just didn't feel like I got a lot of different dungeons. It felt like we did the same handful of dungeons over and over again in Mop. Maybe it feels that way after a while, no matter what. I don't know. Blanzen, good afternoon. Welcome.
Yeah, you think so too, Blanzen? Yeah, I, and I hadn't thought about it that way before. But, you know, we were out in the field for so long. Like, we were just out of town for so long, and that's when it kind of struck me. That was, like, the biggest difference between questing in, like, a classic era and questing in, like, Cataclysm after. Is that, like, after Wrath, like, when you go out to do questing, like, you go back to town really fast. Like, you go out for a minute, you go back to the quest giver. You go out, you go back to the quest giver. And, and I think that for me, that's like the dividing line between like when it, when it feels classic and when it doesn't feel classic. It's classic is when I can get a bunch of quests, I can go out into the zone, I can be out in the zone for like an hour, two hours before I have to head back. And uh, eventually like the questing stopped being like that. Which doesn't mean the questing is all bad, like Dragonflight questing was actually pretty enjoyable. Like my first round through the Dragonflight questing uh, felt good. The Cataclysm 80 to 85 zones like, just my little brush against doing the two starting zones for, like, the Kata 80 to 85 leveling. So far, that's, like, the worst example I've seen of questing. It, it seems to keep you penned into, like, tiny little Northshire abbey size areas. Uh, you're kind of ping-ponging off the road in these tiny areas, running back and forth, and then it sends you on to the next tiny area. Uh, and I think that's, like, that's when they started that design, and it was the worst iteration of that type of design. Would I consider myself a mount collector? No, not at all. No, not really. I've never really been much of a collector. I'm starting to grow a taste for collecting like cool transmog sets, but so far besides doing like the heritage armor stuff, I still haven't really gone out of my way to collect anything specific. Yeah, that's what it feels like. It feels like the leveling doesn't matter. <laughs> That's what Kata, that's what Kata felt like 80 to 85. It felt like more than ever I could see that like the levels were just kind of a barrier to get to the content that I wanted to do. And to me that's kind of when it stops being classic, when I don't really care about the journey and just like especially what they did. Like I would much rather have like one quest hub, pick up a bunch of quests and then explore the zone, get them done and report back. And what they did instead was not it's like a video game level. Instead of it being like a zone in a world, it's just a video game level. Uh, let's see. I I am somewhere. Okay, I, I really don't know how I got where I am. I'm a little confused about our location in the world right now. Uh, yeah, but let's see if like maybe we can find maybe we can find this teleport room that supposedly exists. Uh, then again, I, I'd have to get to like the proper part of the city. I have no idea, I have no idea where we're at. Oh, Boralus. Okay, this is like the central hub-ish area. And then somewhere there's a portal room. Maybe, maybe like down here around the corner? Aha! I found it. Okay, this is going where? To Stormwind. We did it. We did it. Okay, uh, now we just need to get on the right boat. And if we can manage that, then maybe we can get the Dragon Isles and pick up Herbalism and Alchemy. Meanwhile, let's keep queuing up. Uh, we did hit level 61, so we have a talent to spend, which we'll look at in a second. Are, all right, are we sure there's no like teleport like what's this portal to Darnassus? Why would I need a portal to Darnassus here? Uh, dock master This dock now serves as a landing spot for the relentless. Okay, that's great. Great 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 uh, Here we go Farewell. Oh, okay, we got we got a countdown Is this counting up? Oh god. No, this can't be right They want me to wait here for three minutes doing nothing. Is this right? This, this can't be it. What's the, who do we gotta talk to to teleport here? There's gotta be a teleport. It can't want me to wait three minutes. That's that's crazy. Cloudmore's finest. 
next. Which is serious. There's an evoker at the dock that has a countdown. Yeah, yeah. Like, this guy's got a countdown. Uh, this is a horrible countdown. <laughs> uh, three minutes, Jesus. I mean, I could probably go fix my transmog in three minutes. Oh. Yeah, I don't know about- I don't know about three minutes. Can I fix my transmog in time? Maybe. Okay, yeah, I really- I didn't need to do anything else. Let's do that. Okay. Perfect. Anchors away. I can go through the Veldraken portal in the Mage Tower? Is this my boat? No, I'm not doing this again. No, 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 that's not the boat, is it? Can't, it can't be the boat. That wasn't three minutes. United in okay, yeah, we see we still- I almost got on the Kaltiran boat again. Uh, I can go through the Veldraken portal in the Mage Tower. Yeah? That sounds great. I, at this point, like, maybe I have to wait for the boat now. I, I don't want to miss another boat. <laughs> I'm really worried- I'm really worried that if I go check this out, I'm gonna miss another boat. Also, also, like, uh, no, I'm out of vigor. I'm just, I'm just gonna chill. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know how to dragon ride, so I'm like, I'm basically always out of vigor. It'd be cool if in the old world, when your vigor ran out, if you could resume normal flight. Like, if you could just resume, like, the normal way of flying. That'd be really cool. Uh, what I probably need to do... Is, like, just, like, double check my talents. And, uh, maybe, like, figure out what I'm doing. Okay, that did not have any talents. Not really sure why. Talent builds. There are so many different builds. Single target auto attack, single target zero downtime, passive cleave auto attack, passive cleave zero downtime, full cleave auto attack, full cleave zero downtime. Oh. Oh. How about passive cleave zero downtime? That sounds okay. Alright. There we go. They have role play. That's that's how we know we're on the right boat. Is that there's uh there's role play. The boat has arrived. Okay, let's see. get lots of pictures in the Dragon Isles, Wolford. Imagine all the ancient wonders we'll be discovering. I still say we could have crammed into my mole machine and gotten there faster. We track fear would rather fly home than ride a wooden vessel as it drifts upon the waves. But I pledge to accompany your expedition, so... Waves it is. would be faster than plodding along in this boat. You really want to fly an airship into a sky full of dragons, Ensign? Besides, our tight sinks to put in work. 
I suppose that is an understandable fear for a flightless creature. Now wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. This this talent build is showing me that I have so many more points I could spend than it, okay, this is the max level build. All right. Well, I went all this way. I probably should have spread these out a little bit. I was building it as if I was max level. <laughs> Which I'm not max level. I I'm missing a bunch of stuff over here now. Uh that's fine. I guess now now I'll be building down this side of the tree and into the middle. Uh let's try to quickly Oh, what did it do? Did it just totally reset everything I did? I hope not. But I feel like I feel like it just totally reset everything that I did. Oh, okay, I'm not I'm not doing that now. I guess I guess like having that open and not saving it, it like totally undid all my progress. What a bummer! That's a huge bummer. Yeah, I'm, I'll I'll do it in my own time. I'll just stick with whatever whatever I have. It looks very similar to the build I had, so like I'll just stick with this for now. And I'll worry about I'll worry about building it out a little better later on. Alex, good afternoon, man. Welcome to the stream, and thanks for stopping by. Uh, I'd like to see if it'll let me off the boat first. Yeah, I, I don't want to... I don't want to grab this queue, like, while I'm on the boat. Let's just get off the boat. Not exactly what I had in mind, but that'll work. And then, ideally, I would be able to locate the professions guys. They're going to be down the road a ways, aren't they? Do I do I have to do this intro stuff to like get things moving? I feel like I shouldn't have to do those quests, but maybe I have to. This is Vault of the Wardens. The exile Legion time walking. I will slay you and all your kin, and it's so good to fight again. My blades under. I will cast you all aside. My power wasn't enough. Thank you for your help. Your intervention saved my life. If you intend to venture deeper, you will find far more terrifying things lurking in our vault. 
Why Pally? Am I not feeling the mage anymore? No, I just want to get the Pally up to level because I like both of these classes. One of them is ranged, one of them is melee. And so the mage is already capped, the mage is already getting some gear. Now I'd like to get the Pally capped and get the Pally some gear. I am really digging the Pally now that I'm like getting into Dragonflight content. But yeah, the mage is awesome too. I, I plan to have a few classes that I can take into War Within, so I'm trying to figure out like what I like more, you know. We we got a dead tank. I'm not sure what happened to him, but uh, I have a feel I have a feeling that it was elevator related. Karen, good evening. Welcome. You're never late. You're always uh, right on time whenever you get here. Absolutely. Thanks for stopping by. I wonder if he's going to have an eye beam. I wonder. Visitors, how exciting. Follow the bouncing ball. No, he had a bouncing ball instead. No eye beam. Bouncing ball. I, I didn't see that one coming.
Uh, this looks, I mean, it looks sketchy. Uh, I'm gonna regret this. I knew I was gonna regret this. <laughs> Oof! <laughs> I uh, I didn't have a bubble up. I could have bubbled. Dear God, now I've been crushed by the elevator. I I fell to my death, and then my body was crushed. It's not good. I I wonder if like what are the odds of me ever getting a res? But basically zero, right? And then like also. What are the odds of me ever finding the group again? Also, basically zero. I'll hang out with this guy. Like, me and him will hang out. And, uh, and we'll see how that goes. The rest of the group, they, they don't need us. So, even though this guy is the healer, like, groups are so... I don't know, it's not impatience. It's At this point, it's just like... It's just habit, you know, they, they just go, they just go, like, they don't care, the healer's not there, like, nobody cares. There, There is not a thought, like, now, yeah, now we're back here, we got this guy to deal with. I think, like, eventually somebody was like, oh, hey, well, the, the healer's gone, maybe we should, uh, maybe we should go back. No, no, not yet, no, we, we lost one DPS. I, I can't seem to attack this, like, whatever this is... I, I can't seem to do anything about it. Maybe we should just go up here. Okay, we're not we're not going that way. Got it, got it. I, I don't know if any of them could have res besides the healer. Let's say we got a, a death knight. Maybe they could res. Yeah, the monk could probably res. I have no idea where we're going here. I just and I also don't know why we can't hit these guys. That's the other problem. Like once you lose your group, it's so easy to get confused as to where to go. And now I guess we're not going to res the the DPS. Like now he's not going to get res. <laughs> they should just take reses out of the game. I mean, I could res him. I guess, like, maybe I have a res. I'm not sure. If I do have a res, it's not on my bar. And in fact, I don't have any more space on my bar, so I, I kind of hesitate to even... to even look for it. Redemption. Okay, uh, let's, um... Let's see if we can get this guy back up. Oh, oh, maybe the healer did it. Okay, okay. Well, there we go. Now, at least, we have a res on the bar, so, like, we can res if we're not the person that's dead. I remember this fight. I have. It has some kind of mechanic. I don't remember what the mechanic is. I'm hoping we can just power through it. And now you fools have fallen into my trap. Let's see how you fit. I will slay you. Breaking break my transmog again. I, I can't believe it. 
Boom, transmog. Destroyed. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I, I got another great vault slot. That's nice. Oh, that was the end of that one. Okay. Thank you. Level 62 already. We barely we barely have stepped foot into the Dragon Isles, and we are already level 62. That feels pretty good. The music is really good. The music for these Legion dungeons it has been amazing. Yeah. I completely agree. Uh, let's just keep queuing up. I have more talent points that, like, you know, I should probably spend them. Uh, I guess I have to take some of these quests. I need to get to the point where I can find what the profession can trainers. Can I join? We'd best keep moving. But Rathian said he would meet us at the embassy atop the hill. It may be under attack. If it is, then I will be ready to defend my allies. Mm, I don't think they I don't think they stat squish every expansion. I, I think like, you know, I think they try to go a while before they squish all the stats. Maybe maybe they do it differently now. But yeah, I feel I feel like it like until BFA we hadn't had a stat squish for a long time. Like BFA we we were up to like level 120, like the numbers were like really high numbers. And then like they stat squished in uh in Shadowlands. But yeah, like, if you don't do a stat squish, like, things just get out of control. It starts to feel really bad after a while. Crusading strikes for a smoother rotation. I kind of, I kind of like my rotation. What does that do? Does that make me more like auto attack dependent? 
So I, I don't want to do like I don't want to really do like a complete auto attack build. I kind I kind of have like a pretty decent rhythm going. Where is um? Let's see. Crusading strikes. Where is this at? Uh, replace Crusader Strike. Crusader Strike replaces your auto attacks and deals a thousand Holy Strike damage and now only generates one Holy Power. Inherits Crusader Strike benefit but cannot benefit from Wind Fury. Or Templar Strikes. Crusader Strike becomes part of a two part combo. I kind of like that better. Templar Strike slashes an enemy. For Holy Strike damage, you have four seconds to continue the combo. I kind of like that better, actually. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like get my build straightened out later on today. Uh, I'm, I have a couple of guides that I was looking at, uh, but yeah, I think this makes it just like more auto attack, right? Or yeah, I don't know. I don't really know. I, I kind of like the combo though. The combo sounds fun, and I might, I might choose fun over convenience. It depends. Right now, the rotation's not bad. I'm, I'm kind of getting used to it. That's the problem. Like so many times, I find like I find like all the talents really good. <laughs> like all the talents are really good. It, like it makes me want to click like into every talent, and then by doing that though, I miss like really important ones. And so like when I when I respect my mage to like a proper build, like we did so much more damage on the mage. So I have a feeling that once I get this guy specced into a proper build, the, like, the damage will go up. And like, our damage isn't bad right now, but I, I just know there's a lot of room for improvement. While I was leveling, I just I would just pick a talent. Like, oh, that talent sounds good, let's pick that talent. Without having a thought to like, working towards like, a specific build. So I, I know it'll get better once I fix it. Alright, uh, let's head back. Oh, someone's got a mount out. Let, let's get over here and fix our transmog. Uh, it's our pants that are messed up. It's probably going to be easier just to go to sets. And do this. I'll, I might not ever be able to afford a mount, but maybe I'll just borrow other people's mounts. To fix my transmog every time it breaks. No, you, you can't apply it. You, you think you could apply it to the slot, but that's not how transmog works. You apply it to the piece of gear specifically. So like every time I replace my gear, I have to fix my transmog. And like that's why people buy the mount. The mount's a hundred, it's, it's 120,000 gold mount, and then you can fix your transmog whenever you want. I just don't have 120,000 yet. I think I'm close. I think I have like 80 or 90,000 across all my characters. I'm gonna send all the gold over to either my mage or my paladin later on and I'll see exactly how much I have. It'd be cool if it could apply to the slot so that way you could upgrade your gear and it wouldn't break your transmog. But then again that, that wouldn't incentivize people to spend gold on the mount so. Electra on good afternoon, welcome. The paladin has a strong beard. Yeah, finally in retail, like, you can make your human actually look kind of cool and kind of unique. Whereas, like, male humans in classic era, they always kind of look goofy and boring. It applies to the slot in Diablo 4. Diablo 4 transmog is greater than WoW transmog in that case. That's awesome. Uh, we're doing some insane skip, okay? We, we've jumped over here, I've come down on the other side. Yeah, that seemed ultimately very pointless. <laughs> I think someone beat us over here going a more traditional way.
I spec the Pally Prot for a little while in the beginning of the leveling journey, uh, but it was like quite a while ago, like maybe like five or six hours of gameplay ago that I, I spec'd him Rhett. Prot was a lot of fun, but the reality is like I'm never going to want to be a tank in retail. But I would love to do DPS, and so I decided that I would I would do a spec that I might actually play, you know? As fun as it was to do the Captain America thing with the shield, like... I just- I wanted to start learning the spec that I was actually gonna play endgame content with. That wasn't gonna be a tank. There we go, a ring upgrade, an upgrade that won't break my transmog. That's awesome. They will be more prepared. For your true power rests in the nightmare. Silence, weakling. When you open your mouth again, it will be to cry for mercy. Alex, that's that's fair, man. Yeah. Yep. Watch what you enjoy. Absolutely. Yeah, it's not the act of it's not the act of tanking that I care about, and it's not, it's not the act of tanking that I'm worried about. I'm not worried about being able to hold aggro. I'm not worried about any of that stuff. What what do you think it's what do you think I'm worried about? It's really easy to figure out if you're thinking about like a mythic plus scenario. There's like specific things that tanks need to be able to do that I'm not going to do, and mainly I, I don't want to worry about memorizing the routes, and I don't want to worry about knowing the skips. That's a tank's job. Yeah, tanking is brainless and easy, absolutely, but that's not the part that I worry about. I, I don't want to memorize the skips. I, I don't want to watch the videos on the routes. I, I just want to play the dungeon. <laughs> Otherwise, I would love to tank. But yeah, I just don't want to- I don't want to have to give a shit when I don't know all the skips and somebody wants to skip and whatever. I don't, I don't want to deal with it. It's not- it's not my thing. So I'd rather just follow somebody else that knows all the skips. Let somebody else deal with it. And I'll just enjoy my time as a DPS. Oh, Lael, that's a very specific, like, uh, situation. <laughs> you think it'd be hard to mess it up? They came back with a gallon of milk and a two liter of Mountain Dew, I hope. I don't mind. I don't mind following somebody else's skips, but like I, I'm not gonna skip. The main reason I'm not gonna skip is because I'm just not gonna look up where to skip. I don't, and I don't know if it's as big a thing anymore, but it it still seems like people will try to skip everything they can. Which like whatever, more power to them, but I I just don't do that. So I'd rather just tag along as a DPS. 
do I enjoy the classic dungeon way of playing or the retail ones? I, I enjoy them both because they are they are different games. Yeah, you, you don't you don't have to enjoy one thing to the exclusion of something else. The really great thing about video games, and like WoW in particular being so different from its classic version, is that you, you can enjoy both. Yeah. They're entirely different. You know? The new event in Sod feels like a retail catch-up mechanic. <laughs> yeah, I heard that uh, they're already making so many changes to Sod Phase 3. Uh, they're going to be adjusting... They're already going to be adjusting the XP buff. Uh, they obviously had to make a lot of changes to how the raid was tuned already. They're adjusting how much experience people are getting from the Nightmare Incursions because people are preferring to farm up their character level that way, and I guess they don't want that, so now they're kind of nerfing it by, by changing the, the Joyous Journey buff or whatever the heck it's called in Sod. Yeah, they're already like, it's three days in and there's already like so many just fundamental like changes and problems and like runes that don't work and in classes that are left behind and uh, 12 hours in people have already cleared the raid. Like I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to not be playing Sod Phase 3 right now. I feel like if Sod's ever going to be like really great and worth playing, it's probably going to be at level 60 once everything is like all smoothed out and they have everything figured out for like classes and abilities and... Right. All that, but it might it, it might never be something that I enjoy, but I'm happy to not be playing it right now looking at the list of changes they're making And like I don't want to say it like I, I know this is like the whole point of the season is that there's no testing There's no nobody knows beforehand, but this is kind of the point of testing shit no, no. You know, it's, it's kind of the point of testing stuff I, I maxed out my bar almost oh, I'm five points away. We must however stay vigilant Deep inside the night. Five points Zadius away from maxing out the bar. Unvanquished. The enemy you fought here was merely his shadow. Yeah, I, I really wish that, like... <laughs> I wish they would have just let us level up to 60, and then they could have been, they could have been cooking all this all the end game content like the whole time. They could have been making like the the nightmare incursions for end game content. They could have focused all their like effort in making the raid bosses and stuff could have been end game content. I, I think I think Sod would have been more enjoyable with a with a season of mastery, 40% XP buff. Let me level up my character all the way, and like when you're done with the end game stuff, you're done. If I get to cap and you're not done making the end game stuff, whatever, that's awesome. Fine, I'll, I can wait for it. Like, the level bans gave them time to make new content, but I would rather they have just let people go with, like, just a consistent 40% buff the entire way, like Season of Mastery did it. And then just leave all the raiding and all the PvP events and all the PvE events, like, leave all that stuff for me to do at 60. I, I don't want to worry, and then that way maybe you have more time to test it. Maybe, put it through a, maybe you gotta put it through a PTR at that point, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it's, it's been kind of a bust for me. Okay, what I need to do nice to is I need to find the the trainers. I need herbalism and alchemy. This is leather working. I should also like maybe I should set my Hearthstone here. It's better than where I currently have it set. So let's let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we got a cooking trainer. Like cooking would be a good thing to figure out how to do. I don't know if I'll ever get that figured out, but we'll, maybe we'll try. Uh, Alchemy is here. And then you would think that herbalism would be nearby, but I don't see it. It's not out here. Jewel crafting, herbalism. Herbalism is over this way. You are in for a treat. 
Yeah, it'd be nice to be able to level up just anywhere you want, not have to do the Dragon Isle stuff after you've done it once. That'd be a nice change. All right, so we got herbalism. Do I need to do I need to track herbs, or is tracking herbs already happening automatically? I, I don't see an herb tracking option, so I just have to think that uh, My goods are crafted with great it's going to happen automatically. I, I want to be like in the queue at all times. I'm just gonna pick up like ev every quest, like side quest, main quest, and but mainly I think I might focus on trying to do herbalism while we while we're between queues. Uh, but I guess like if we grab the quest, that gives us something like kind of passive to work on. I kind of want to not worry about any of the campaign quests and just do like world quest and side quest. Kind of what I would like to do. I don't know if that's possible or not. Stay strong. Yeah, I know you can go to. Yeah, they want me to go to the table. I should probably just go to the table and make uh, a selection. At least I thought there was like. Okay, yeah, here it is. Command table. We'll just uh, we'll just pick the Waking Shores. Um, yeah, but I, I really, I really don't really want to do the story quest and stuff. Like, I, I, my plan is to, like, maybe we do side content, maybe we, maybe, I just want to farm the dungeons, basically. Uh, and then between that, we'll just do side quests, and we'll do herbing and stuff. I'm just, I'm gonna leave her standing right here, like, I don't even think I'm gonna bother progressing her much. Uh, but I do have to figure out, like, if this is tracking herbs for me, or if there's, like, something special I have to do. Oh, here we go. Yeah, find herbs is on. Am I gonna find any herbs in this area, though? Who knows? Maybe I, maybe I should only be focused, like, if I want to do dungeons and level up herbalism alchemy, maybe I should only be focused on herbing. I haven't done a, like a gathering profession like that in a long time, so... Like, what if I just fly around? I want to fly around and see like how many herbs I can actually find, if they're hard to find, easy to find, like if there's lots of them, not lots of them. And, and start like figuring that out. We get 1100 XP per herb. That's that's pretty substantial for herbing. No, they they said that your season is of discovery character will have somewhere interesting to go when the season ends. But what they haven't said is that there's going to be a permanent server for like sod specifically. I don't know how they're going to do it. The problem is they they can't keep making permanent servers every time they do a season. Because then they're going to split the player base up across like 17 different versions of the game and they don't want that. Craig, good afternoon buddy. I am doing well. Thanks for asking.
<laughs> oh god, like where where did they hide this herb? Why did they do this to me? Don't they understand how bad I am at dragon riding? Yeah, like... Oh, look at that. That's absolutely rude. Like... So there goes all my vigor. So, yeah, that was that was rude. It was a it was a titan touched something or another. Whitney, good afternoon. Yeah, it's been a long time. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Now, can I herb in, like, any of the zones, or do I have to kind of progress from, like, zone to zone? Kind of, like, hoping I can go anywhere. I think the Onarhan Plains might be an easier place to go herbing. Unless I'm gonna need stuff from every zone for alchemy. Like, there's so many, like, heights here and stuff, and I'm so bad at dragon riding that... I feel like being out on the plains might be better for me. Yeah, I, I do have one ability that restores a little vigor. Yeah, I got- I grabbed that one. So that helps a little bit, but ultimately I'm just really bad at it. Yeah, see this one is second wind. Reach within for untapped reserves and instantly regenerate one vigor. I have a bad feeling that person was coming after this herb. Yeah, see, they... I don't know. Okay, let's go into the dungeon. Maybe maybe if we jump in the dungeon, this will clear itself up. Yeah, we'll probably come out of this dungeon and be dead, but that's okay. Neltharian's Lair. Okay, is this, um... Did I not do time walking here? I feel like maybe I messed up. And maybe I didn't queue us for time walking like I ought to have. Maybe I got queued as- is this a Dragonflight dungeon? The name of it sounds like a Dragonflight- I meant to do time walking. This is time walking. Really? Naltharian's Lair is Legion? Oh, okay. Cool. That's good, thank you. I appreciate it. Sounds like something that would be in Dragonflight. It's in High Mountain. Cool. Yeah, it's Legion time walking week or month or however they however they split it up. It's a Legion time walking time. These Drogba have been tapping into abilities they should not possess. No doubt it has something to do with the latent power still lingering within these rocks. Against us, 
Dark Rule cannot control the hammer, Ularog. He will destroy High Mountain, not conquer it. Either way, I will enjoy every moment of it. Rockmora, crush them! <laughs> to dig at the bones of my father? He does not know the powers he meddles with. Please, you've already taken all the food we have. Search everywhere. These peasants have been hiding rations from the army. If you're not fighting, you're not eating! I feel like throughout WoW there are like 27 bosses that like, that mimic the Hulk. I feel like it happens like every other expansion there's at least one boss that is like Hulk related or adjacent. Gets kind of boring after a while, you know? Attention, Navarog. I want you to see your heroes die. High Mountain itself rises against you. So this is what it feels like.
If we complete this summoning, our passage to Dargrul will be blocked. She comes. Naraxxus will feast on your foes! Yes! <laughs> Wait, no! I am sorry, heroes. It appears the treasure you seek will be found on the other end of this beast. The Tauren believed you were prophesized to seize my hammer! <laughs> Pathetic. Let them come. Witness the fate of those who stand against one worthy of wielding the power of a titan! I'm a part! I am sorry, heroes. I must leave you now. Yet know this. I have witnessed your deeds with pride, and I am sure you will not fail High Mountain in this final hour. Was that it? Oh yeah, that was it. It's done, heroes. Well, we hit 63. We got two gear upgrades. It was nice and smooth. We didn't die. It's a good time. And now we have to get out of the lava pit. It says there's an herb here, but I, I don't... I didn't see an herb down there. So let, let's go up top. They like, like, they like hiding these in, like, very specific places. Like, this is gonna be almost impossible for me to land on. Yeah, like, I, I don't think so. <laughs> like, uh, do I have a, I, I need, like, brakes. Like, yeah, there's no way I'm gonna land on that. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about that. Not sure how I'm feeling about hiding, like, most of the herbs in, like, really hard-to-get-to locations. <laughs> I guess that could be fun gameplay for somebody? I don't know. I kind of want to go into Templar Strikes here. I'm going to look at the build I was going to put together and see what it includes. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't have me do either of those, actually. Like, the build I was looking at doesn't take either of those. Which I'm fine with. Uh, it does take... Divine Wrath, though. 
Wake of Ashes would be another nice AoE. Let's grab Wake of Ashes. Not that I really have anywhere to put it. Uh, I don't have Execution Sentence yet. Okay. Let's get back in the queue. Mining is the same way. Yeah, it makes sense. You know, they're really pushing the verticality in this expansion. I, I guess I, I, you know, I say I can't land on it, I can't land on it, but I landed on it just fine. It's just a little bit of like a change of mentality. Gardens of the life pools have attracted pests. We cannot allow them to threaten the safety of our whelps. It's easier in the plain zone. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of working my way in that direction ish. Kind of working my way in that direction. Any specific reason why herbalism? So that I can do alchemy? Yeah, yeah, so I can do alchemy. Oh, that's cool. There were like a bunch of them right here in this area. 
Oh, there were, there were, and then and then two of them just vanished right in front of my face. Kajitan, good afternoon, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Did I do Sunken Temple? No, I, I quit Sod. <laughs> I, I quit Sod. I, I think, like, emotionally and mentally, I was quit with Sod back in Phase 2. But I, I tried opening night, and... Uh, Sod just isn't for me right now. Uh, I guess we could either kill this person or stay away from them. I guess we're gonna stay away from them. Yeah, and I saw I saw today all the changes they're already making to Sod. They're already changing the experience buff. They're already making changes to the raid because it was apparently way too overtuned. Uh, what else are they changing? A bunch of runes and abilities already have to be changed. Like a lot of classes are complaining that they aren't any good anymore. Like I'm, I'm kind of happy just to abstain from this phase and just let let it play out. I'm really happy for people that enjoy the season. I'm glad they have a place to play classic. But, like, I, I've just had to kind of accept that it's not for me. You can't stop the storm. I want to use this guy's transmog vendor to fix my transmog, but we're uh, we're kind of on the move here.
for a second, Alex. You thought she said Mall Walker? You're just traumatized from Shadowlands. That's all. You should probably go talk to somebody about that. I think, like, getting over Shadowlands involves many, many hours of therapy. Or many hours of classic you know i feel like like playing many hours of classic won't get you over how bad shadowlands was i think you have to come play many hours of dragonflight <laughs> i think in order to get over how bad shadowlands was you you have to play a version of retail that is actually good but classic is a good way to cope like if, if you're just trying to cope with it then yeah classic if you're trying to like work through it and get over it then i think you have to come play dragonflight actually that's probably, that's not going to be a very popular opinion, but... That's how I feel. You know, the 9.2 zone, the 9.2 zone in Shadowlands was actually fun to play. A Corthia, a Corthia was awful. I never liked the Maw. I don't, I don't like the areas that are like blasted rock surfaces. Not if you want me to spend like a bunch of time in them. If you want me to spend a bunch of time in a zone, like especially at endgame, like you have to make it pretty. It has to be pretty, it should be soothing, the music should be good, it shouldn't be like some desolate, dire, brooding place. I, I don't want to spend a lot of time in a place like that, necessarily. Like the Emerald Dream, the Emerald Dream is like the perfect type of zone. And like I said, they had, they kind of had it right in 9.2 in Shadowlands with, uh, I forget the name of that zone. Uh, but it, it was very pretty. And the music was good, and the content was decent. Yeah, Lael, they probably will. But by the time War Within comes out, they'll probably let you play up the Dragonflight for free with the with the subscription. I would think.
Everyone knows the best zoning classic was Desolus. That's why they copied it in Shadowlands multiple times. Yeah, probably. They probably do think that. Uh, let's see. Where be my herbs? So close! Ugh. You can do it! Alex, you also got Shadowlands for free when Dragonflight launched? Yeah, I think it'll probably be much the same when War Within comes out. I, I would hope so, at least. This is an elite that I'm fighting. I, I don't actually know if this is a fight that I could win. I don't know if I'm ready to be soloing elites in the Dragon Isles. Soloing elites in the Dragon Isles doesn't doesn't seem like it's going to be a good idea. But he is guarding that herb, so... What level are we now? Uh, we are... I don't know. It says we're 46, but that's not true. Uh, let me see. 63. We're, we're 63, a few bubbles away from 64. himself. No, I will not be defeated! The nightmare clouds my thoughts no more. A fluke. Savor it and pray you do not face me next. Got a bracer upgrade. Will be more I will take it. It doesn't mess up my transmog, so that makes me happy. The nightmare. Silence, weakling. When you open your mouth again, it will be to cry for mercy.
there's like really creepy whispers happening. Might not be able to even hear them unless you have like uh, headphones on. far only to die in the hands of Xavius. An empty threat. You hold no sway over this realm, Nightmare Lord. Bold words for a prisoner. Even an echo of my power was enough to overwhelm you. This seems ambitious, but apparently it's what we're doing. Check my gear when I'm out of the dungeon. Some of the upgrades might not be upgrades. I'll take a look. Victory. We must, however, stay vigilant. Deep inside the nightmare, Xavius remains on That's level 64. The enemy you fought. Alright, let's have a look. Merely his shadow. Oh right, right, right. The elite. Yes, yes, of course. I forgot about the elite. This guy, this guy might kill us. Well, I mean, I think this fall is probably going to kill us too. Let's bubble. Okay, the bubble saved us. <laughs> Let's see if we can leash this elite. Yeah, I don't think we're ready to take him on solo. All right, there we go. Uh, we have an unspent talent point. Uh, I don't really know about this. I don't know if I need that. Let me see. Yeah, apparently, apparently I do want this. But there's a couple other things I want, too. Uh, let's just go ahead and grab it. Okay, uh, checking the gear that we got. Yeah, I think everything we're getting has been, has been upgraded. Yeah, we got 241. I think we're good.
All right, we're surrounded by herbs. It's just a matter of getting to them. Let's try to get out into the Onaran Plains. That might be a, a little bit easier for herbing.
Uh, I have no idea what knocked me back. That was weird. The wind came from the herb. Oh. That's a cool little interaction. Uh, I have unspent points in my herbalism journal. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. Choose a spec to unlock. You can learn more specs as you increase your skill level. Bountiful harvest. Specialize in gathering uh, very specific herbs. Increase your gathering skill while gathering herbs. Increase the amount of herbs. Refine lower quality herbs into higher quality herbs. Specialize in gathering efficiency while learning how to cultivate your own herbs by planting magic seeds. What? What? Magic seeds? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I don't know if I'm ready for all that. Oh my gosh, I can have a garden of magic seeds? What is it talking about? Specialize in gathering elemental herbs and overloading the- I have no idea. This is all- this is all incredibly specific. In order to know, like, what I- what I should do, like, I would have to- I'd have to watch a video or read a guide. But I'm just, I'm not really gonna worry about it. I'm gonna go into Bountiful Harvests. Just so we can spend some points. Improve your general har harvesting skill. Plus one point. Okay, yeah, let's... Let's just do that. Perfect. If you go into botany, you can herb while mounted. That is cool. Yeah, maybe I should have looked at that. that that's cool for, like, quality of life. Oh yeah, all the Dragonflight zones are absolutely gorgeous. My least favorite is Waking Shores, but the only reason it's, it's my least favorite is more like the topography I don't like. It's very small, lots of high mountain ranges, uh, but the other three are really, really good. I feel like I've spent the most time in the Onaran Plains and the Azure Span. You think the mob density makes the world feel small? I mean, what what really does it is like when you're flying around, especially when you're flying around, the world just feels a little smaller. If you stay on the ground more, and you, especially in the Dragonflight zones, they're actually quite large. So if you use like a ground mount often, then the zones actually feel like a decent size. But like when you're zipping around, it like minimizes it a little bit. Legend M, good evening to you as well. Welcome to the stream. The 
that herb, that herb just tried to kill us. That herb's gonna kill us! I bubbled, I bubbled. <laughs> the blast from that herb, it like literally tried to get us killed. Oh, that was, that was fun. <laughs> oh my god. What a rude herb. This one turned into ice and stunned us. Oh man, how is Cata Classic? I haven't, I haven't played a lot of the beta recently. I I'm waiting for the game to launch. Once the game launches and I'm doing like more content, then I'll have more of an opinion. That was an unfortunate little stun we got hit with. When does it launch? Sometime in the summer. They, they don't have an exact release date yet. to answer for yours. Crimes? Our crime was to sacrifice everything to save this world. We're five seconds in and we already lost our healer. <laughs> the tank doesn't care. The tank is still pulling. He either doesn't care or he doesn't know. I was going to say, we're probably all about to die. We protect life, often at great risk, too often at great cost. You dare speak of sacrifice to me. I gave up my flesh, my soul. My people shun me as a freak. And what was my reward? Eternal torment from my sisters. I live to serve my people, my goddess, expecting neither personal gain nor glory. Can you say the same as you stand there intoxicated with the power of the Legion? I will serve my people, the exiled and the reviled. I will slay you and all your kin. It's so good to fight again. I can't help. My blades hunger. I will cast you all aside. My power wasn't enough. Thank you for your help. Your intervention saved my life. I can heal. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure I would make a your great healer with my spec. You will find. I, I'm sure I, I would make an excellent healer as full ret spec. I do have heal buttons. You're, you're right about that, though. Why, why do I do this? Why do I follow these lunatics? Oh, never follow some lunatic who just throws himself into a deep dark hole. Will will we get a res? <laughs> maybe, maybe. Only because it's an elevator ride. Maybe they'll res us. Come on, let's see it. Come on, you could... There we go. Oh, well, well, what's he doing? Maybe it's a mass res? Yeah, there we go. Cool, cool, cool.
Legion was a good expansion. Yeah, absolutely. The only unfortunate thing was Legion also introduced the infinite AP grind for your artifact weapon. So if you didn't have a dozens and dozens of hours a week to grind your AP by clearing every single world quest every single day, then your artifact weapon fell behind in item level compared to your uh, fellow guildmates who did have that kind of time. And unfortunately in Legion, I, I, I didn't have time to play. So Legion was uh, one of like Legion was like one of my favorite expansions, but also it killed my ability to raid. I didn't feel like I could play enough to keep my guy like up to date enough to like consistently raid. So I, I raided in like the first and second tiers, and then I I had to quit. And BFA was much the same. BFA also had the infinite AP grind by way of the Heart of Azeroth. So I did like the first tier of raiding in BFA, realized it was going to be the same kind of deal. Like if, if I didn't have time to get on every day and clear the world quest, then I was going to be behind. Now I have all kinds of time and I don't raid. <laughs> I should probably change that. See, I never, I never really cared about the legendary thing the way that a lot of people do. For me, legendaries were just another level of gear. You know, you had your epics and then you had your legendaries. I, I, as someone who never got a legendary back in vanilla or anything like that, like I didn't care about legendaries the way some people did. Like it didn't bother me when legendaries started to be more available to people, because to me it was orange. It was just you know you had green, blue, purple, and now you had orange. And to me it was just another level of gear to get for some slots. I didn't have like a big emotional attachment or reaction to it. These guys just took the elevator and left us up here like, oh yeah, we'll see you later. <laughs> you have fun fighting that stuff, we'll be at the bottom of the elevator. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not, like I'm not doing this again. I'm not, I'm not jumping again. I'm gonna wait for the elevator, even if that means, like this dummy's dead again. Like I'm not following dummy down another hole. It's not, you get me once. Get me to dive down after you once, but shame on me if I do it twice. Gotta go fast. <laughs> Gotta get to the bottom of the hole as fast as you can. There, there's so many buttons to press in retail, like so much to do, I, it stops me from drinking coffee. Like, I still have the same coffee that I started the day with, and it's like, it's almost 3 o'clock. So, like, obviously playing retail is better for my health, because it, it cuts down my coffee consumption throughout the day, like, in half. Because I just, I always have something to do, and it's harder to, like, sneak a drink in while I do my rotation.
utterly predictable. I knew that you would come. I have what I was after, but I stayed just so that I could bring an end to you once and for all. And now you fools have fallen into my trap. Let's see how it's all I will slay you all. All night elf children learn to love the stars. I will not be stopped. I have fought too long, suffered too much. Victory must be mine! My powers have grown since joining the Legion. Here, let me show you. Alright, sure, I'll do another one. Yeah, why not? Hurry, friends! Every moment we linger, Garfield kills more of our allies! My father's ancient lair. There is still power within these rocks that should not be disturbed. I appreciate that this guy is using markers. I, I think that's really cool of him. These Prodlar have been tapping into abilities they should not possess. No doubt it has something to do with the latent power still lingering within these rocks. We we lost somebody. <laughs> we lost a DPS there. Either way, I will enjoy every moment of it. Rockmora, He's like into the barrels and Ebonhorn's like, no, I, I won't be doing that. No, I won't be, I won't be putting myself in a barrel. Nope. <laughs> You've already taken all the food we have. Search everywhere. These peasants have been hiding rations from the army. If you're not fighting, you're not eating. Oh, 
<laughs> would I get into the barrel? No, my reaction would be much the same. It's like, yeah, no, I'll find another way around. Thanks, though. Attention, Navarak. I want you to see your heroes die. Go ahead and run! <laughs> it will change nothing. So this is what it feels like. See how he's marking the uh, the skip? He marked the one area for danger and then the other area to go to that area. That was a really cool use of the markers. Mother of worms! Arise! Yeah. If we complete this summoning, our passage to Dark Rule will be blocked. She comes. Naraxxus will feast on your bones! The treasure you seek will be found on the other end of this beast. The Tauren believed you were prophesized to seize my hammer! <laughs> Pathetic. Let them come. Witness the fate of those who stand against one worthy of wielding the power of a titan! I'm sorry, heroes. I must leave you now. Yet know this. I have witnessed your deeds with pride, and I am sure you will not fail High Mountain in this final hour. Yeah, Dustin, I am having a lot of fun. I really have been. I will break this world a 
thunder! Before I let you take the mountain, we'll gnaw on your bones! Hear these and roars at my command! How is this possible? I... I was chosen. The hammer never chose you, Daru. It seeks a wielder who possesses true strength. And you were found lacking. Alright, we lost our tank and healer. Let's go ahead and leave the group. We're really close to leveling up. Now begins the long task of reuniting our tribes. But balance has returned to High Mountain. Maybe if we get like a couple more herbs, maybe we will get this level. Let's see. There we go. We, we got it by just discovering another area. Uh, that'll work. I will take it. Guys, I've had a lot of fun today. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me, letting me play retail. Uh, I'm really, really digging the Pally. We're level 65, so we are, you know, halfway on the journey from 60 to 70. Uh, I, I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow, but on Monday and the next time I do stream, I think I'll be right back here. I think I want to get this guy to cap. And I want to start getting him some gear, and I think I want to get him prepped to go into Season 4 uh, at the end of April. But yeah, I'm out of time for today, so thank you guys again. Really do appreciate the support. If you liked hanging out today, leaving a like on the video, subbing to the channel, ringing the bell, all that stuff really does help me out a lot, and I appreciate those that do. Until next time, take care of yourselves out there, and take care of each other, and we will see you back in Azeroth again very soon. Bye for now.